basically how I started was uh, I would do like photography stuff, like what you could find in Oklahoma, you know? Like on Model Mayhem? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Model Mayhem was the best yeah. that there was out there. Was, and yeah. then and then sometimes like through Craigslist gigs mm. and there were like people there who would be like, oh, doing like a black and white photography or a boudoir or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I would do like a few of those. And then there was a, I saw an ad one time and it was like, come out to LA and be a porn star and do this, this. And so I, uh, I looked at it and then I I looked up the website that was on there and saw a bunch of like the girls that were on there. I looked at their pages and I and I did like was a, it an agency or like yeah, a website? It was it an was agency. an agency, okay. yeah. And um, so I looked and I called the um, the agent that was the head of the agency at the time and I was like, hey, yeah, I'm interested in coming out and I sent him like some pictures of me and stuff and he was like, yeah, you look great. Um, and and then he told me like how much money I could make as opposed to like what I was making at like the pharmacy, which I would make more money as like like definitely more money as a stripper. But mm-hmm. I uh, the pharmacy it was like ugh, grueling, and I was so, so you were working bored. at a pharmacy. Yes, okay. I was working at a pharmacy by day, strip club by night, and it was an experience. But uh, yeah, I um I was so like. I just didn't feel like I was getting paid enough. And then yeah. he was like, this is how much you can make. And I was like, I'm there. So I came out like two times and like flew back to Oklahoma. But then I was like, if I want to make any real money and do this, then I'm just going to have to move out here. Right. So I did in the model house. And so that was like at least a Craigslist experience that didn't like result in me in like a bag in the trunk yeah. <laughs> or whatever. But What was your first scene like? Uh, it was for FTV. Okay. It was really exciting because I had already done, by that point, I'd already done like swinging and had been in like group sex and stuff. Mm-hmm. And uh, that was always really. Well, and FTV Girls is just solo girl, but it's also like public nudity. And well, yeah, yeah. Which right? I was like nervous about, yeah. like the public nudity for sure. But then there was a, but then like the owner, you, mm-hmm. uh, he would do like boy girl and pay for that, even though like, and and get like the site like set up, even mm-hmm. though like I don't think the site's ever been set up. But mm-hmm. yeah, so that was my first boy girl, even though it was technically like never released. But interesting. Yeah, but I mean, it does that with everyone. Weird. But so wait, he shoot because I I don't recall ever seeing boy girl scenes on FTV girls. So he yeah. shoots boy girl scenes with I think these he girls, was like, and then he doesn't release them. Yeah. Okay. So it was, okay. It was, it was, like, so he shoots like, scenes with yeah. girls. Oh my yeah. god. And and I talked to like Leah, who I'm still in uh, contact with, because she did the makeup for for that. And uh, she was like, when I first talked to her, she was like, "Yeah, I was gonna put it on as like a separate site." And then when I talked to her last, um, I was like, "Whatever happened to that?" She's like, "Man." He got into some tax stuff, and he's just not shooting anymore. And so, so the site's never going up. Like, so get that content back. That's worth something now. I know. I would almost buy it back now. Yeah. It's like my first ever scene. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was exciting. I was excited to do it because. Uh, so you you felt like it was the right thing for you from the start. Yeah, yeah, I did, and it, and you know, at first I thought, um, like, I'll just do. 10 scenes get a little extra money and like get out Mm -hmm. but then I think by my third scene like everyone in my town knew so yeah of course like everyone and my parents and everything no not really Mm. I mean I expected a few people to know but not for it to be as big of a thing as it turned into yeah and then after that I was like thinking about it like because I could go home and just get my job Probably not back at the pharmacy because I just quit that rather ab- abruptly. <laughs> but um, or well, I put my two weeks in, but still, yeah. Uh, but at least at the strip club. But then I was like, well, I mean, like everyone's gonna know from this point on. Mm-hmm. So like, I could go back, mm-hmm. but then I feel like everyone's kind of waiting for that, like back at home. Yeah, and the thing is, it's like you know they say if you've done one scene, you may as well do a thousand because once it's out there, it's out there, and like that. We'll probably follow you. Oh, yeah, yeah. How did your family take it? Uh, they were mad. But um, after a while, like, ultimately, they just care about, like, if I'm, like, safe mm-hmm. and healthy and happy. So once the initial shock wore off, mm-hmm. they were fine. And now 
we're still fine. I visit them. Well, that's great. Yeah, I, I just like flew like my parents and siblings out here this last uh, Christmas too, mm-hmm. just so they could be out in LA and we're totally good now. They're, good. they're great. I- hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.